Ladies, good afternoon. It's Lisa. Um, hey, hey, I'd like to apologize for yesterday because we were doing this this page on lesson three, and somehow I had to um, get up and do something abruptly, and I came back, and I had accidentally turned my video off, and I had to instead of pausing it, I turned it off, and so I had to restart it, and so. Uh, I apologize for that, and maybe some of you had not seen that how I had finished this this um, this tag actually. So I just wanted to just go ahead and um, just uh, recap a little bit about this, and then I wanted to finish a little bit more on this page that I thought it was kind of plain looking, and I wanted to make it a little bit more add a little bit more to it. So so what I was going to do was I had a I have some lace here. This is some lace that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this was uh, a few months ago I got this this really pretty lace here. really like it. And so I thought what I, what I would do is just try and use this on this book and also um, do something with the top of here too. So I'm just going to do this real quick um, finish up my lesson three that I didn't get done. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm thinking about taking, I cut a piece, I already measured it from here to here and I'm thinking about um, just gluing this on right here. And let's see, I'm trying to measure it. Just cut it at an angle right here. Let's see. Look at that. And bring it a little bit here. And cut it about like that. And I want to make sure that when I glue it down, I, that I glue it a little bit further from where it folds so that it folds out so you can open it up. And what I'm going to use for this is some, some of this double-sided tape. It's like a fourth of an inch double-sided sticky tape. And I'm going to put this on the back of here to make it kind of like my, um, you know, my ribbon, I mean my uh, lace that I have that has my, um, my washi ribbon. <laughs> I'm going to pretty much make a washi ribbon with this double-sided tape. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, tape this on here. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to measure nothing. I'm just going to put it down the center of it and stick it on. Just like this. Now I got this, at, I got this through Amazon and I don't have all the information about it, but if you go on there and you look for the double-sided sticky tape, you can buy it on there for not too, too expensive, so it's pretty good. And make sure that's on there really good. And then you just want to peel off this part. And let's see, making sure I got the right side that I cut. You want to bring it down about a little bit down because you don't want it to be too close to where, like I said earlier, where you open it up. So then now I can still, take this out, I can still open it. I can still write in it. Let me trim the edges here. And I'm going to use my little, I got to get my little scissors out. Oh, these are really sharp too. <laughs> you want to get some good scissors. And then, um, and I'm wondering if I should put one on here too. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and put one on there too. Not this book. So I want that to go on there too. So I'm just going to measure this. Get this on here. How is everybody doing out in video land today on this Saturday? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, it's been a good day for me today. My husband, um, I got a lot of work done today, which was good. Cleaned my patio because it needed to be done really badly. And 
cleaned out my darn refrigerator. It was like, oh, you know how that gets. I'm like, you know, honey, this <laughs> there's something stinking in our fridge. I think it's time for us to clean it. <laughs> so he's he's luckily working today, and so I decided to, to go ahead and just clean it out. Just get it done. It's nice to get things done when you have the time to get them done. So, so I'm just going to, again, do the same thing I did with the last piece and just if I can grab it ah. <laughs> I gotta grab it somewhere really press it down and make sure it, that other layer does not come up there so I'm just gonna bring it down like before a little bit below the fold line so you can open it up let's make sure it's opening yep opening. Okay, I'm going to trim this like I did before. Just like that. Okay. There. Looks good. I'm put this in here. So you got two of these little books together, and then on this, I thought I would just put, cut a little piece here, and instead of the hole here, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, glue this on as a little tab, and I'm going to ignore that hole that's there so so in this I think um, I use a little bit of this also a little bit of this sticky double sided sticky tape again let's put this on okay. and just put it on just like that and trim it to the edges So I'm really recapping, this is the recap of lesson three, and then we'll start four today also on another page. So you just take your double sided tape and stick it on, and you just want it to be kind of like just a little tab, if they can pull it out. There. So there's my my page, the finished page. Look at your book, write in your book, put it in, there's another writing area here. Tag in, and of course I put it on the back of a postcard and it looked, came out really nice. So if you saw that little two minute extra. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and do, do the back of it. We're gonna do this page. Let me get a clip to hold it. And what I have an idea for for this one is to do um, a belly band and put a card in there. So first off, when I was outside doing my uh, cleaning, um, I found some garbage out there. It was uh, a piece of this corrugated kind of um, corrugated kind of material. And I thought, oh, I could use that for something, you know. I thought, well, you know, I had some ideas of what I could do with it. And then I thought, well, you know, I brought it in and I thought about making like a corrugated belly band. And, um, and so, so what I did was I cut out a piece like it's already, and I thought I would just measure it here, and let's see, what is the measurements on this? Measurements on this is about, it's about four and a fourth, so I'm going to cut this mm, about a four and a fourth on here, and I'm going to just go ahead and cut that out cut down the middle first here and, and we're going to just make a, a belly band and then make a little book to put inside of it or not a book just a card with some paper in it so put that like let me see it's not really even right here okay there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it all about right there. Eyeball it. <laughs> I love eyeballing it. I don't really even like to even uh, glue anything. I don't really like measuring either. I just kind of eyeball it, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and ink it up a little bit if it needs it. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's kind of dark anyway. 
with the brown and the dark. So okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. And then what was it I was gonna put on it? Oh. So what I'm thinking about doing is let's go ahead and glue this down and putting some, some lace over the top of it. Like that. And then picking out one of these to put on the center. Thinking about maybe inking it and putting that in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the lace down and believe. We'll do that. Oh, and I got my little I put another topper on my, my little glue, so now it's coming out pretty good. So I'm just gonna glue on the topper here and glue my lace down right on the top of this. And I'm making sure that my corrugated ridges are on the top, not on the bottom. That's really important. So I go ahead and glue this on. Just like that. And it's my piece. PVA glue. And it's kind of running low. I'm thinking, oh, I need to get some. I need to get some more of that. You know? So, so we got to put this on to keep glue it on. Keep it on here. Just like that. So, oops. All right. And I'm going to let that sit aside for a little bit. And then I wanted to show you what I was going to do for my book. So, I was looking through some, some of my happy mail that I got. And I found this really pretty. I put this here too. It had this really pretty wrapping paper that it kind of reminded me of fall. It kind of looked, I don't know, I kind of liked it. And I thought it would look really kind of good in this book. So what I did, instead of using just the regular uh, wrapping paper, I decided to take it and put it on my, my copier, my printer, and I printed it, and I made it into this. I put it on some heavy, heavy-duty like cardstock, and this is what I'm going to use to make my book from. So, so I took so many ways. I have already cut out a piece, and I've already measured it, and I've cut out a book already from, from what I had there. And here's what I came up with. And what I did was I had already pre-measured where my belly band was going to go here the size of my belly band. And then this is gonna fit just right in, right in there. It's gonna fit right down in there, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna take some paper, put this some paper inside of here, and make a little fold out of that. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and What I'm gonna go ahead and do right now though is I'm gonna just try and put this on. Go ahead and glue this on. Not totally, totally dry, but I think it will be okay. And I'm gonna just glue my ends and put it on. So it looks like there's a little bit of a gap right there. I think I'll use my big PVA glue bottle to get a, a thicker stream on each end of this. And now I'm wondering if my book is going to be a little bit um, big for the openings that I made for this. So you want to really press it down and really get it on there. And it's going to take a little bit of time to dry. So let that dry. While that's drying, I want to make sure that this is going to fit through here. And you know, I'm going to cut it just a little bit on the edges, just on this side, about a fourth of an inch off. Because I want to make sure that that is going to fit in there nicely. And what also what I like to do when I'm making making this is I want to just go ahead and uh, curve the corners my scissors. I can use a, um, I have a, a, a deal that makes corner edges, but you know, I think if it's just, you just kind of move your um, paper around as you're holding your scissors, kind of, it, it just kind of does it for you. And so, 
So I made it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink this too. While this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and ink this. As you can see, this is a lot stiffer than that the all of the paper I was using yesterday that was a little bit more flimsier. This is a lot easier to work with and it, it covers it really nice. I'm using Vintage Photo for my ink, my distressed ink choice today, which seems to be the most popular distressing ink these days. So I'm gonna go and do that. And then a little bit on the front, just to kind of give it that old look. So, I'm just going to just distress it here. I like this, the look of it. Looks good. Okay. Just like that. Getting stuff on here. Alright, just like that. And then I want to bring this up again and see how this is going to fit through here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fits good. It's way better than I thought. That's great. All right. And now that that's in there, I'm going to find a photo that I want to put on the front of here as kind of my Billy Band little, you know, fall colors. Fall color. This fall. This is fall. <laughs> This one says, be grateful. Looks interesting. Um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and wonder if I should just use this one. I kind of like that one. And then there's this one, too. I kind of like that, too. I'm going to go ahead and just put this one on. You know, there's another one here on my paper that I have not seen. I'm going to try this one. This one might look kind of good, too. Off. I don't know if you, I'm probably not in frame here, but cut it off. And putting that right on the center. I like it. And now I'm, I'm going to trim the edges. And, and I want to um, make rounded, rounded corners. Quiet around here today. Very quiet. Got a lot done though. I'm really happy about that. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Just around the edges here. And I got my, my little glue working, so I'm so happy. Because I was thinking, oh man, my little glue isn't working. And it was so frustrating yesterday, the day before. That on there. Okay. It's going to make the edges. And it, with you know what on lace, it just takes a while for it to dry. And I've and I know that it's. I'm just gonna put these on here to hold this on and dry it really good. Because it's gonna take some time. All right, now back to my little book. Okay, so what I did was I took some some of my tea dyed paper that I put. Now I am sitting around here, and I kind of like the idea of having the paper just inside of the book as a fold-out. So what I mean by that is that I want to put the put this in to where the whole thing opens up. You know, the whole thing opens up when you open it. And so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to just bring it up to about mm, where the the card is. I'm gonna bring the paper, the whole paper in about a fourth, fourth of an inch in, an eighth of an inch, something like that. And then I wanna fold it over and I wanna cut it so that it will fit in this. My, the whole piece of paper that's cut in, cut in half on the half. So you just kind of lay the card on the half and cut around it. Like that. 
this, I'm going to um, curve the corner on this one too, because it didn't get curved. And this, I just, I did curve it because it was on this part of it. So, so here's what's going to do. It's going to open up like that. It's going to look really neat. Alright, so what I want to do is on the edges, um, put some more of my, where'd it go? My um, double-sided tape. And I'm going to use this to glue as, uh, on the, I'm going to put it on the edge of my book so that I can take this fold, put the fold on there, and I'm going to um, use the double-sided tape to tape it on. So, I'm just going to take it and just put it up to there. I'm going to just cut it with my fingers like that. Only up to the fold, and then up to here. Like that. And I'm going to take this. And put it right here. And then I'm gonna, as I'm holding it like this, I'm gonna take off the bottom tape, put it right down on there, and then hold my other side. I know I said a fourth of an inch on the edge, and I guess it didn't. It was a little bit um, further over than what I thought, and I think it's going to be fine. Let me see. Let me check. And then, you know, you can always just trim the edges, like I'm going to do right here. Trim it up. Yeah, I'm trying to, today. I want to try to get to get my craft room cleaned up and organized just a little bit, not as organized as I'd like it to be. Okay. So now we got our little book. It's like this. A little book. And it opens. So you open it up and it opens completely out and completely this way. So you can just have all your journaling on here in this book. Just like that. And then I'm going to put it, um, see if this is dry. It's dry, 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 dry. Yeah, it's pretty dry. It's getting that way. Then you want to put, go ahead and put your book in the belly band, just like that, just like that. And you know, I'm wondering if there's something I can put on the top or the bottom of this that would make it. Um, well, I think it looks okay. Um, let me see if there's something else I can put on it real quick. I'm thinking it needs, it needs something. I don't know. It needs something. So let me look over here. Some of the stuff I got in here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me just... Hang on a second. I'm going to look over here. Something I'm trying to find. Here they are. I have a little bag of these little, uh, <laughs> these little cute little things. And I got these at a estate sale or something at one time. And here I was thinking about putting these on, on my book somewhere. You know, top and the bottom maybe. Something like that. These are these glue on really easily too. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. All right. Let's see. Glue that there. So you just wanna glue those on. You know, I realized that um, lace and stuff like this, it glues, it, it glues really good on 
paper, <laughs> which I never knew would, would glue very good, you know, but it does. Especially these do. In there. Okay, and then this one I'll put down here. I've had so much fun with these little, oh, they, these little lace deals. <laughs> they are so cute and they look so nice. So, put that on there. Now I'm thinking about maybe some buttons, maybe? Put some buttons on there. White ones or something. of here to hold this button on. Don't, I don't want it to be too, too, too bulky in my book, but I think it'll be fine. And put another one here. I think that looks kind of good there. That on. There we go. And I wonder if I should do something with the, <laughs> the center of this I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, maybe the green one. Let's see. I'll put that on there. And that's going to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to say that's the end of lesson number four. Um, so we made a belly band that's gonna come out. Now make sure, girls, you gotta push on that button to make sure it comes out, slides through there easily. We made a book that folds out. Put all your interesting fall notes in there. It's gonna be great. And then you're gonna slip it right back under that beautiful belly band. The fall belly band. And that's the end of lesson number four. So we will be back either to tomorrow or I'll be back Monday for lesson number five. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.